Down here in Studio B, where live sessions are brought to you by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, we've got some live bluegrass right now. It's the Jacktown Ramblers live on WNCW. <laughs> Tell you a story about Vegas town, poor old Hired Hughes. Locked up there in his hotel room, looking for his shoes. He's got so much to lose, poor old Hired Hughes. His nurses and his chauffeurs all sit around inside. Watch the door and wait on him, whatever's on his mind. Well, that's awful lot to do, just to guard old Hired Hughes. If he didn't have an ego, do it every damn well, please, and do it all the time. So says the just a mess of overdues. Poor old Hired Hughes. He's always in the papers, he's always in the news. Who's cheating who or even what's the truth And now who's getting screwed on kind of you know who If he didn't have a nickel and he didn't have a dime He could do it every damn well please and do it all the time So says the just a mess of overdues Poor old Hired Hughes Vegas trip where the regular people pass. Someone said he's not too well to hear he's sinking fast, but that's unofficial sources to the news. For poor old Hired Hughes. If he didn't have a nickel and he didn't have a dime, he could do it every damn well please and do it all the time. So says the just a mess of overdue. Spirit of John Hartford with us here in WNCW oh, yeah, Studio B with the Howard Hughes Blues from the Jacktown Ramblers. <coughs> Shannon Leisure is singing on that one, and he's got the guitar with him. And we have a Brett Setzer on the banjo, and uh, it's uh, Gabriel Wiseman Sarge <coughs> on the mandolin, and Mike Ramsey on the bass. Welcome, Ramblers. How are you Thank doing? you, sir. Thanks for having us. Great. For having us. All right. Great to have you here, and uh, here on this Memorial Day, uh, no less, and on the Eve of the Eve of the Eve, more or less, of your album release show coming up this <laughs> Friday night. That's right. That's right. At Isis Music Hall. <clears throat> and uh, wow, that's where this new album was recorded. Congratulations on yeah. that. Yeah, we recorded that back in January live at Isis Music Hall. And uh, it's one of our, probably one of our favorite venues to go to. We really like going up there. It's a good place, good people, good food, good atmosphere. Scott Woody's a really super great guy. Yeah, yeah. he is a great guy. And uh, great we like playing up there. And he was gracious enough to record for us and let us take that and See what we can do with it. So we're going to do the CD release party there on Friday. And we'd like to invite everybody, if you haven't got tickets, to get some and come on out and see us. Ah, all right. Go on IsisAsheville.com, I think, is the website for that. Something like that. And uh, and, also, and then your band is just JacktownBand.com. JTRBand.com oh, or JacktownBand.com, either one. we got both. Either one? We'll yeah, send you we got two domains. Wow. we got one Brett Setzer, and that's enough for him. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we had to have the second one, because we got that's Brett. Right. Aww, <laughs> he got legend status the... a few years ago, and we did want to bring that up. When you got it, you got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah? All right. Good. <laughs> What's the next song? <laughs> hey, cool. Um, so you guys are all uh, more or less in the Morganton area? Yeah, sure enough. Kind of, uh, sort of? Gabriel... I live yeah, in he Marion. was born and raised in Morganton, but he's in Marion. They You're in Marion now, all right. They run him off as quick as they could. Yeah, they well, from I'm Morgan. from two counties, and neither one of them claimed me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. How'd that happen? Hmm. I, don't know. I was actually <laughs> born in Avery County and moved to Burton. All right. Yeah, yeah we're all from pretty close together there, and it's 
it's nice because it allows us to get together and play and practice and meet up to ride together to shows. Well, that helps. That, that yeah, helps. It makes logistics a little easier than when you're spread apart. Yeah, you know, because it's fun. I was thinking that maybe you guys were from kind of a, a variety of different areas. I was thinking Cherville, but I was like, well, yeah, it's just it's like unspoken tradition. They've got some folks kind of spread out uh, in various right. towns. And we're I thought lucky. maybe one or two years from Asheville. And it's not too far, but, no, but actually you're all even closer. We're within a 35, 40 minutes of each other. That right. does make it easier. I've walked to Gabriel's house a lot. You can do that? <laughs> That's because right. he ain't got no license. Yeah. <laughs> and, at times. and and you often you know maybe didn't get enough food and you got to yeah, go borrow really. coffee or something like yeah. that that's cool um well now let me ask that during the uh the <coughs> pandemic and the lockdown and stuff were you guys trying to like still jam uh but you know dealing we, with that maybe just outside or did you we try actually Zoom discussed thing? that amongst ourselves <laughs> and uh wanted to make sure and we told each other let's be honest with ourselves if you're not feeling up to stuff or something ain't right you know, let's hold off because we, we normally get together at my house and practice. And, uh, but we did that. And, and actually, I think all of us has had COVID now and, uh-huh. yeah, and we got we, past it and lived through it and all that good yeah, stuff. I think I was the last one to participate. But at the same <laughs> time, uh, we did that. And, you know, and me and Gabriel actually bought a little bit of stuff and set up and actually did some live stream stuff there from the house early yeah. on, you know, while yeah. everybody else was doing it too, you know. So, and and that that done okay for a little while, but it's kind of seemed to be trailing off a little bit. Yeah. And I know Scott Scott's not doing any live stream stuff at the ISIS anymore, you know, okay. because he told me straight up, you know, that folks were staying home and watching the shows and not buying tickets. Ah, so, uh-huh. <laughs> right. I mean, it makes perfect sense from Scott's Avenue, you know, there to ISIS, and uh, it. But uh, he's a good cat, and but you know, we we wanted to stay together. We didn't want to. Yeah just be a separate apart for a while and then have to try to gel it all back up together. So, you know, we get together about once a week. Sometimes we'll skip. We, we still played some. We were lucky enough to still have a yeah, few we things actually, going on. Not a yeah. whole lot. Yeah. But we, we, I think the first place we played after the, after all that stuff was in, at the Dragonfly in Shelby uh, in like May of 20. Where we did a thing. You know, there wasn't many people there, but I think that was the first place we got out and played any of that year there. After playing at Pisgah Brewing in Black Mountain in January before yeah. everything got shut down. We also right. took advantage, like a lot of bands did, and took the opportunity to record. And we put our first right. record out. Right. We recorded it during that time. Yeah. At it's, Mike's studio. It's great to have uh, some some actual you know, albums recorded during this period when you know there's a lot of lockdowns or people just doing the live stream thing. I mean, yeah. like th- this one here uh, is this a great you know kind of encapsulation of like okay down the road. For us historians, when we look back at this right. era, we're like, no, there was still some good stuff happening. Right, right. Yeah, some that, great yeah. music that was recorded. Great music. Nice. Including yeah. live. Uh, it's nice to hear. And the reason we kind of did the live thing, honestly, just to talk about the album a little bit, if it's all right, I think the uh, a lot of times music nowadays, it seems like a lot of it's really very produced, get it perfect, 50 oh, takes to us. get it right. And that's just not us. Yeah, we yeah. we kind of, I think uh, some of the music's lost a little bit of the, when you do too much of that engineering, it loses some of the raw energy and feel. And we're kind of a, we're kind of a live band to me, at least. I feel like that's where we thrive because uh, we interact with the audience a lot and do a lot of joking and so on. And I think the live album captures that because it's a live performance. I remember being there, like. maybe at that show at uh, Dragonfly that I mentioned, there was a lady there. She said, do y'all have a recording that, has all of this in it. I said, Talking what do you about mean? The ignorant what, stuff. Are you, what are you talking about? She said, all the jokes and all that stuff. I said, uh-huh. no. And so that sort of lit a light bulb off yeah. for us to maybe kind of do that, you know, and capture this thing. So it's fun. We have a blast. We'll have a blast riding back to Gabriel's house when we get done <laughs> in the vehicle. We, we enjoy it. We company. Well, because we, we should mention, yeah, this album is, is not just the songs. That would be enough for a fine oh, yeah. album. Well, you got lots of banter in between. It's, it's fun to, to hear that. Yeah. I think uh, there's 12 like or 14 that. cuts of songs on there, and then there's all the banter all the in between. Yeah. That was the first time we report, record, we played a lot of those tunes live in front of anyone. Yeah, exactly mm-hmm. right. We had worked on them privately, and then it's the first time we played them out, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. But I well, believe uh, people really like the interaction. Yeah. You know, and I believe it shows on that CD. I know I do, you know. Seeing live music, well, that's what it's about. But but also, yeah, seeing the interaction, moving around, talking, get to know with people, your heroes on stage. So yeah. uh-huh. we, uh, we're real proud of the fact that for years now we've been playing for probably about three years as a group, two yeah. or three, something like that. And we have never had anybody come hear us twice. Oh, <laughs> that's, um, well, okay, I guess that's uh, something to be proud of. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We have a, we have quite a few people that come pretty regular, and we're real, real thankful of that. We saw some of them yesterday. Yeah, and, buddy. Uh, Saturday oh, yeah. when we played. Fun, we got to, a lot of, fun to see your friends yeah, when you're yeah, playing. We got a lot of folks Great that come friends. here as regular, and we like it. So. Well, let's hear another song. Yeah, we've Mike in the I guess this, this is the week. This was just last week or so was Bob Dylan's birthday. It was, yeah. Yeah, so week. this is a Bob Dylan tune that we've kind of changed up just a little bit, and it's the first track on the new record. It's called uh, You Ain't Going Nowhere. You ain't going nowhere? You ain't going nowhere. Clouds are swift, the rain won't lift. Gate won't close, and the rain is from. Get your mind. Dylan would like that version of it. That song seemed to be made for bluegrass. Some songs, you know, they don't come yeah, out bluegrass, it comes out a good but, bluegrass but tune to they, they end up, end yeah, they end up finding their bluegrass home after a few years. We got to talking about it, and we had heard several versions of that tune by Dylan himself and by the Earl Scruggs Review, yeah. and they, uh, they, uh, they were kind of slow, more yeah. folky yeah. sounding, mm, totally. sort of like what Dylan did, you know. And so we just kind of wanted to push the tempo up on it a little bit. I liked and, it. Uh, I don't know that I had heard it done that quick anyway. Yeah. And Gabriel, I loved that unique ending that he put on it here. Yeah. Today. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, it's it's very unique. You never there. play that song the It's just suiting to us right there. Right. Yeah, so, oh. I forgot. We, I thought there was another band. Gabriel Wiseman's the lead singer there. I give you three on the band. He's never give me three banjo breaks. I'm looking to get one. Well, he got legend status just the other day, so we're going to let him show off. Tell us about this legend status. Well, you know, on it was a Tuesday. <laughs> it was a Tuesday. He got the about four thirty two. About four thirty two. He got the letter in the mail and AM. Said, I thought it was four. And FM. And he's going to be a legend now. That's okay. Right. He's he's the top used mattress salesman and interpretive dance leader in the Southeast United States. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that was even a category. It is. I'm probably there's only about two of us in the whole world. 
and I am one of them. Okay. And he's a great tractor mechanic, but he identifies as a banjo player. So. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, and I don't blame you. <laughs> no, but seriously, talking about the band, these guys are a great bunch of guys to play with. You can tell kind of we have fun. Yeah. We do have fun, but, you know, I was thinking on the way down here, you get a very few times in your life you get to meet up with guys that you you really relate to and enjoy being around and can have fun and go on craziness and you feel like your brothers you know and we yeah. we are lucky we live close to each other so we get to play a lot yeah it helps man. but you're talking about really really lucky and as a blessed person you know i feel really really blessed to meet yeah. these guys i mean they're they are like brothers but mm-hmm. they are and they've taught me a lot i mean mike Father time over there. You know? he's <laughs> Santa a, Claus. That's to it. Use he's him. A, that's son. You know, he, he's son. He, he'll keep you in the straight. And uh, Shannon, one of the best musicians I've ever, ever ran into. And Gabriel, all the way around, is a great guy, great musician, and a really, really good magic man. Yeah. I can't say that other word. How do you say it? No, nah, that's just magic fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, you know, getting on to a serious note, them guys, you know, it's a great great band to be playing with. You mentioned in, in the liner notes on the record is of, about how much you guys love playing together and how it music, is. you know, heals and, and lifts the spirits. And it does when it's done with good intention and you guys are, you bring a lot of joy into what you do. It comes across. We try to. We have fun. We figure if we're having a good time, the hopefully they will, will. too. Uh-huh. Yeah. And well, if they aren't, well, at least you are. It's fun to work as a musician. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of music you make at home. If you can't go out and play. And... You just play it for yourself. But I, I was thinking this is the third time I've come down here and played in Studio B. Uh, the first time was when we did a gospel gospel band years ago and playing with Aaron. Aaron was playing the mandolin with us in that configuration. And then he was playing. Aaron Ramsey, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. And then about this Aaron was playing guitar when we came back down with Gabriel's daddy, David, playing, doing the Linville Ridge Band stuff. Yeah. And uh, I say this not in an awful way, but in a good way. I, I have had, I've played in two different configurations with my own son, who's a great musician. But I've had more fun. I've had more fun with these cats right here than I did in any situation that I've been in before. That's not saying nothing detrimental to the people that I had before, but we just, there's a, there's a goofy wavelength that runs through these yeah. crowds right here uh-huh. that's uh, it's just special. It's fun. We have a great time when we get together. Yeah, that's good. Here's a tune, if we're ready for one. We are ready, Mike. Here's one that uh, comes out of the catalog of Lonzo and Oscar. That's something for you to start Googling today. And uh, they were a band that played on the Opry and, and different things probably back in the 40s and uh, on up into the probably the 60s probably. Hmm. But uh, this is an old crazy tune that they did. It's sort of a swingy type tune, and uh, we really like this one. It's, it's weird, but we like it's it. It's a lot of fun. It, it, we think it's cool. It, it fits us, our goofiness. Here's one that's, uh, Gabriel, you kick it off. Okay. Here's one that's entitled Tickle the Tomcat's Tail.
It's a real oldie for you here on WNCW from the Jacktown Ramblers. And, you know, that song is just perfect in, the, in this kind of bluegrass configuration. But, I don't know, that one hints to a bit of a little swing background a you guys have, too. Yeah. A little yeah, gypsy swing thing, maybe, a little going on there. Yeah, we try uh, to do a little bit of that sort of stuff yeah, here and there. Yeah. We, we're primarily a bluegrass band, but uh, I think we, we mix in some swingy tunes and some gypsy jazzy stuff, some Grisman things. That's really kind of part of your, your band's yeah, identity, like especially kind of stuff from we earlier. If we like it, we'll play it, and maybe other people will like it too. Is uh, Shannon Elijah, the guitarist, is he the one that kind of maybe has the, the most of the kind of the, the swing background? Probably, or yeah, he, yeah. He really well, knows a lot it. of that stuff and plays a well, lot of that stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, I chop some chords. He fills <laughs> in the rest. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> Shannon's a... But, you know, the nice thing about acoustic music is that it's a really small community. You know a lot of people. You learn from a lot of people. It's a lot of, I've played a lot of music with guys down this way. Uh, Rutherford County, Retro yeah. 78. <coughs> and yep. he just passed. Tony Williamson. Just yeah, a lot of good Everybody guys. knows everybody, and it's, it's great. And in the bluegrass realm, there's a, there's a lot of swing influence from eons back. You know, a lot of the tunes that Scruggs was pulling in were old swing and jazz oh, yeah. standards, you know. So Definitely a foundation. That, of that, in, that interaction between the styles has always sort of been there, Yeah, you know. I but, think the lines have gotten blurred more over the years. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we don't try to sell ourselves as a straight swing band because we're not, you know. We well, just kind of pretty good, can't we, Mike? We kind of <laughs> delve there just a little bit every once in a while, you know. Well, can you swing dance? Oh, Brett, Brett yeah. teaches interpretive yeah. dance, like I was saying. He, he can teach well, the swing. Okay. I saw him do an interpretive dance of the movie John Wick one time. <laughs> it was beautiful. Uh, okay. Another thing to look up. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to feel or it. not. We yeah. wish there was video of it. Yeah, yeah. Our engineers are You've got to feel it now. Sean's not sure well, about that one. He's seen some of our foolishness. Yeah, but he lost his feel because he was dressed like Richard Simmons. All right. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, there's another visual. All right, all right. Um, now, now, Gabriel, you, you sang that one. The mandolin is folks that Gabriel Wiseman um, and uh, Mike mentioned. Uh, was it you, Mike? Mentioned your dad. In, in yeah, the, David Wiseman, my man. father. Yeah. And then wait a minute, isn't there a Lulu Bell and Stony Wiseman? Yeah, Lulu Bell and Scotty. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, Scotty Wiseman. There's yeah. a lot of Wisemans in there's this area. Of, and there's a lot of musicians in my family. Billy Constable, Lulu Bell and Scotty Wiseman, my dad. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. All my cousins in play and. Oh, yeah, so family I legacy got it here. Honest, I guess. Uh huh. That's great. What was your uh, relation to Billy Constable? Second so you, cousin. Who's your dad's second first cousin? cousin? Yeah. Okay, great folks. Musician. Great banjo player. We just love here. Great guitar, guitar player too. And, and guitar for yeah. sure. He Passed was a away. unique human being. Uh, I miss that cat right there. <laughs> he was, he a, was a good one. cat. Uh huh. Um, 2015, I think he passed yeah. away. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, growing up with with the Wiseman family. Oh, of course, you were gonna. Pick up all this. They're all. Uh, well, what? I didn't grow up with them. They put me out when I was pretty. Young. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Understandable. They told me to raise myself, <laughs> find my own way. Yeah. Okay. I, you know. I think I was seven. I was, you know looking a, I was looking around, noticing things. Time I was seven years old, I was pretty smart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sitting up in my crib, so they let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Your crib till seven? Wow. <laughs> do you guys? <laughs> That's how they do it, boy. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they carry on that tradition when the Gabriel's kids get eighteen. He just tells them they got to find somewhere else to live. You know? All right, out of the crib and out of the house and. There you go. Yeah. Fly or die. What was those yeah. stories about uh-huh. Kenny driving the bus when he was in fifth grade? You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was Justin real, Kenny though. Kenny driving the bus when he was in fifth grade. Whoa. <laughs> Folks, you're getting a little picture of what happens what like when, when the Jacktown Ramblers play. Uh, they're they're playing. It. It's yeah. Friday at the Isis Music Hall. It's the album release show for this album recorded at Isis back in January. And I know you got a bunch of other shows, too, at various venues. Yeah, we're leaving out Saturday and going to South Carolina and Georgia and Florida and playing. We've got about a week oh, or something. Oh, in Florida. Week, All right. Or, yeah. But also back into our area, too. Yeah, we're uh, going to be going for about a week. We'll yeah. get one more from you, but it's jacktownramblers.com. And what JTR Band. J- JTR Band. Dot com. And then jacktown.com, actually. All right. Yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah, well, appreciate, appreciate having you guys here. Thank you, sir. I think we're going to do a gospel song to kind of make up for all the ignorance we've been <laughs> talking about going on. And maybe to, to get herself off the hook, some of y'all on Facebook might have seen that these boys started ransacking the studio and stole a bunch of coffee and stickers a while ago, so maybe this will get us out of trouble. Well, we're going to give them a deal on the stickers when we sell them, so don't <laughs> 
Wait Ready? a minute. <laughs> this, uh, Sean knows this actually hits a little close to home in terms of. Uh, we're not even going to go there. Okay, are we? Let's go. we are not okay, even going to go there. We didn't steal nothing. Yeah, Ready? we don't steal, folks. <laughs> Paul and Silas been in jail all night long. Oh, Paul and Silas been in jail all night long. Oh, Paul and Silas been in jail all night long. Who shall deliver for me? Gospel Truth, according to the Jacktown Ramblers <laughs> here at WNCW. Thank you all so much for, uh, you, for well, that, that, that one so to wrap up the session. Us. We appreciate it. It was fun. Yeah. Great way to wrap yeah. that up. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming on in. Uh, have fun Friday night. Yeah, come yeah, on out and see us. ISIS Music Hall. Follow us on the Facebook and the Instagram and the Tweaker. We got all that good stuff. You're everywhere. We, we got, got a, scoops. We got YouTubes. All. all right. We got yeah. them station wagons out there too. Oh, okay. <laughs> and they're for sale. All right. Great. <laughs> Jack Tom so Ramblers yeah, on WNCW Live Sessions here brought to you by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. I'm Martin Anderson. Here's our next act of studio.